Welcome to one of my most valued partners in the Nut and Fancy Project, the Grand Desert. I love this place. Yes, it's beautiful. It's fun to get out into the desert. It is a lot of work as always. But here's another thing I love about the desert. It holds a curse over everything that I bring out here to test. <laughs> If you've been watching the tabletops, I talk about this all the time. This is an infield, unscripted video, just like I always do. I'm gonna kind of give you some insight of exactly what I'm talking about, and yes, talk about the knife and how it helped me. Dude, if a gun could come out here in the desert and do well, I, I guess it's pretty good. <laughs> no, it's, it's not like Iraq or Afghanistan, but I don't know what happens to guns when they come out here. They just... Uh, I don't know. If they're going to break, they're going to do something wrong. They'll do it out here. Oh, yeah. By the way, they ran perfectly, you know, at the indoor range. Go figure. Uh, keep watching. Stay subscribed. I have a lot of gun reviews I'm working on. I'm excited about many of these. I've been working, uh, well, all this week on them. I'll post them just as soon as I can. And if I get audience support, you're going to see them hit quick. Uh, like I said, some have been on my list for a long time. Kind of like this one, an AK variant. Uh, check this out. There's a Hungarian made AK variant AMD 63 And yes, the curse of the desert has affected this AK as well <laughs> I'm laughing because it's just so typical that by the way is a very cool bolt gun also being tested I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. You're just gonna have to watch uh, Finally got the front sight squared away. It's taken about an hour on this AK Yeah, seriously an hour just getting it on paper at 35 yards. They never come regulated. I don't know what the heck's going on. Then I got it, in order to zero it, it's gotta be drifted like way far to the right. It's just been a pain in the butt. And then when I think it's going, I'm like, okay, cool. I can start shooting steel now, we're good. Uh, the trigger malfunctions. I'll roll an inset video. And I'm going, WTH, man. <laughs> WTH, it's an AK, right? Hey, AKs are totally reliable. I've seen plenty of AK problems out here, dudes. I'm telling you. Uh, honestly, ARs have been more reliable than some of the AKs I've brought out. I'm just telling you the way it's been lately. I figured the shepherd's hook popped off the, uh, the trigger pin. And so, uh, you know, I'll roll in footage. I took the top cover off and just looked inside. Sure enough, that's what it was. And now I just need a tool to get that shepherd's hook over into the groove again. So I had to go waste time digging through something in the toolkit, or you know where this is going, right? <laughs> Do I just dig into my pocket and take out the best pocket knife ever made in the history of man? The Vitornox Cadet. Dudes, uh, I pretty much rescued this knife from obscurity about eight years ago. Uh, I've always carried a Victorinox Cadet. They're so thin, so lightweight. They have the essential tools that most people need. They're good looking. They're cool. They have second cool, first cool. They're relatively affordable. I just love the Cadet. Now, TMPers for a long time have been asking for a custom Victorinox Cadet. And finally, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a reality. Uh, here's the deal. You need to order it really, really quick. Uh, we ordered 500 and it cost us a buttload of money. We didn't have any special discounts. We didn't have any special ends. Uh, for instance, a laser engraving, we just went to some place and got it. They didn't say, oh, you're TMP, here you go. No, it's just paid market rate, whatever it is. Here it is, dudes. And uh, man, I'll give it a five-star appearance. The TMP Victorinox Cadet. This is a special... Nothing fancy coloration right here. It's one that Jeff Lawfer from Cutlery Shop, thank you very much, Jeff and myself, uh, came up with. And we worked directly with Victorinox for this coloration. Freaking cool. Red Hawk, or Red Tail Hawk just flew by. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, so you may see this coloration somewhere else, but it is a TMP coloration. And if Victorinox decided to release it to other vendors, I can't do much about that. But that is, uh, well, my coloration. Because I wanted it to represent TMP blue, if you look at the letters of TMP on the channel, this is the coloration. So, of course, we're going to come out with blue first. Laser engraved, uh, we came up with that. 
And then each one, yes, I said each one is going to be hand signed by myself, which is going to be a tremendous amount of work. And it'll show 2016. And they're going to be laser engraved with, make sure it's right side up, yep, with a serial number. 500 pieces, you cannot ask for a serial number, so don't try. Limit two per customer, thank you very much. Uh, here's why we have to do it, because uh, what happens is TMP blades uh, actually trade kind of like commodities. Uh, it's been that way for a long time, so if you pay a certain amount for a TMP blade, uh, we see them in eBay going for up to 200, 300% of what the dude paid for it, and they sell, they sell at that. The Microtex, TMP Special Editions, there's never been a ton of them, and this is no different. 500 pieces is really not that much. So I can't guarantee it, but odds are this, whatever you pay for this, you can get this coloration without all the specialness. Oh, by the way, they come with a, a certificate of authenticity too, serial number. Actually, I don't know if I'll put serial numbers on it. I don't think I will. It'll just be a certificate of authenticity. But you could go to Jeff's site, uh, Cutlery Shop, and just get the blue one if you want, and it'll be a lot less expensive. So totally, that's cool by me. Uh, I have a feeling these will sell out extremely quickly and then probably within six months you'll see them trading for a lot more than that. That's just the way it is. Um, I, re I would expect they'll go up to knowing knives, knowing how few there are. Don't hold me to this, but I'll ballpark it. I, I could see this going up to 120 a piece. Uh, maybe higher, depending on the serial number you get. So the web store's been at the top. Uh, I probably will announce this to my Twitter guys first. I tell you guys to always subscribe to my Twitter. Every time I have a special edition knife, uh, guys get excited and they go, hey man, I don't subscribe to your Twitter. I'm like, why not? It's free. You know, it's a great way for me to communicate to you guys. Uh, do it. And, and I use those guys frequently as a barometer for content matter. I ask them questions and I appreciate them. And so, there goes a gun on the dirt, standard. So anyway, so I'll release it to Twitter for a certain amount of time, then uh, I'll release this video. Very cool. I, I five stars all the way around. I love how it turned out. I mean, the lettering of the TMP is just perfect. Our laser engraving place that did it did such a good job. Uh, thanks to Tactical Doodle. He, uh, you know, honchoed this whole project and did a lot of uh, errands to make it happen up and down. And it takes me a while to engrave them too and make the certificate. So it re represents some work that we're doing for you guys. But I want this TMP Cadet to be special. And so it's worth the work. It's worth the you know going the extra mile to get everything right. The coloration. Uh, and again, huge thanks to Jeff Lawford Cutlery Shop. I, I couldn't have done this without him because he worked for me on with Victorinox to get this uh, to come to pass. So thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, again, he has them on his website, cutleryshop.com. They won't be signed. They won't be uh, with all the cool stuff with it, like I said. But uh, they're still a great coloration if you just want one. Got Unicef flies all over the place. So there you go. Uh, it's a it's a pocket toolkit. And like I said, for fixing that uh, AK, I mean, I just used a nail file. Grab that hook, pop it up. Uh, I've shown on camera for you know a long time, the cadet. You should always have a cadet on you. And finally... The TMP Cadet is a reality. Awesome. Very excited about this. Thanks, guys. See you later. Order fast. They will be gone very quickly.